morning, my lovelies. How you doing? Welcome to Mickey and My Craft. This is Hilda, your host. Today, I got news for you. May dear, May me ambassador for their company, uh, they're giving me a nice discount code for the entire order. It's a 15% off, and the code is, guess what? Mickey. And um, it's written the same way that it's written on my, you know, the name of the channel. Madeer is a cross-stitch company, and they're based here in the United States. And they're a uh, stamp cross-stitch, and they have, uh, you know, a good packaging and because i have done other uh unboxing of made over here on the channel which i'm gonna put the the video up okay so let's get started i'm half two today uh they're gonna send they send me four they're gonna send me four i just received two of them okay so this is the first video of two videos okay when you get your, this one is called Bird Cage and Flowers, and it's an 11 count. 11 count, you use three strand. And when you see the packaging, okay, you got maybe a cross stitch. They tell you what does include, okay, and this is a pretty one. I like this bird with the, on a cage with these poppies. And it's an 11 count and the size is 41 by 51 centimeters. On the back, right, you have the instructions, okay, on how to stitch, notes, how to clean and care for your uh, cross stitch, okay? And it tells you also how to draw the flaw. The floss from from the strand okay so make sure you read all this if you have any doubt feel free to ask me questions okay I'm pretty much already let me, see, let me show you the bird look at how beautiful those colors are the bird holds the key to the cage. And look at those poppies. I think they're poppies. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect for the springtime. As a matter of fact, one of my favorites. And it's 11 counts. So if you have any problem with the eyesight, uh, you can... Uh, Eleven count is good for you. Because of stitches. Okay, so the instruction for this is for without preprinted for the blank canvas, and this is for the preprinted cross stitch. So you have both sides of the instructions. Okay, because we're gonna look at this. You get the chart. The chart gives you the option of you to do it on a blank canvas because you can do it pro probably in any uh, type of uh, Ada cloth, okay? Maybe you'll be able to do it on a 14, make it smaller. But this one is an 11 count as we can see it's going to have backstitch on it. Okay, here is the first part of the short and the second part of the short. And the good thing about this kit is they put it on a frame, right? Which gives you an idea on what color of frame, on how to frame your uh, cross stitch. Okay, so this one has, let's see. This one has 44 colors, right? And for full stitch and two, four, six, eight, ten colors for back stitch. Forty-four colors. And here it is, more back stitch. 
Okay, so let's look at the fabric because then we're going to look at the threads. I said that it was what? Uh, 41 by 51. So it's pretty much like a size of a diamond painting, the 40 by 50. So it's pretty big. Let me pull you back a little bit. I mean, zoom you out. So as you can see, you got the symbols, which are very clear, right? Along with the DMC code. Uh, the shot also has the DMC code. Yes. It does have the DMC code. Okay, so we have over here, take a look at this. This is a partial. You don't cross stitch the background. You only cross stitch the printed area. Okay, and for what I can see, it's not, even though it's a 11 count and it's a big one, it's not gonna be that hard to do. And the numbers on the pre-printed pre area, the numbers are, just a moment, let me fix this. Okay, here we go. The numbers are very clear. 35, you got 15, you got 26, 28. 20. They're not going to give you all the colors. You just uh, numbers. You just going to uh, look at the symbol over here. And uh, let me see. Let me take an example of a color that is not being um, the oh, for example, this one. This symbol over here. Right? That one. The diagonal lines. If you don't find if you don't find the number, that's number eleven. Four seventy one. Okay. So from here, you're gonna go through your floss and pick up the number. I'm gonna do a tutorial about that. Okay. And here it is. There is some confetti on it, but it's like uh, blocking within confetti. Uh, because you have like a few colors over here, but you have little blocks of color that you can, you know, uh, color them. Uh, you can uh, stitch on it, not color them, and stitch on it. So this is a pretty one. I like the bird. Take a look at the bird. The colors on the pre-printed fabric is like to contrast, to help you and to guide you with the color of the thread. Not necessarily, sometimes it happens to be the same color of the thread, but it's not the rule, okay? That's an exception. So this is very clear and very well the fabric is a little stiff but one thing i do recommend um when you uh start doing this is to crunch it okay so you can soften it crunch it uh a few times okay because it's going to be softening while you um uh, do the cross stitch so let's go to the thread i like to take the two cartons apart because I like to deal with them separately. Okay, you get this two threads. I mean, two needles. <laughs> no, two threads, two needles. Sorry about that. Okay, you get two needles. And here are the threads. Let me fix a little, little bit. So I can show you. Let me... Pull this down and zoom you in so we can check these threads. 
this thread is shiny oh I like it and you touch it is very soft very very soft they have gorgeous kits gorgeous gorgeous kits look at these beautiful colors for the cage the green for the leaves you know the blues for the birds and we have more colors over here they're so beautiful gorgeous shiny colors oh come on come on come on Okay, here's the focus of the camera. Look at these colors, beautiful. Oh, come on, don't lose the focus again. Here you go, and me. So you can see it now. Here you go. Beautiful, gorgeous blue. Uh, these are for the flowers, as you can see, for the poppies. Let's get the other one. For the leaves. Beautiful color, shiny thread soft thread i'm touching it at the bottom and it's very soft it's not a rough thread okay so this is the first one and it's very pretty very pretty i'm gonna put it on queue for spring which i should start when <laughs> in december oh okay I'm going to put it aside so we don't take too long. And the next one, the next one is a little bigger. The next one, this is a 14 count two strands. Seaside Lighthouse is 53 by 42. And many of you know how crazy I am about lighthouses because of the remembrance of my grandmother. This is a very colorful one and a very detailed. Take a look at this. This is beautiful. Let's see. Let's get into it. I'm excited about seeing this one from maybe. I can't wait until I get the other two. At the time of this filming this video, I haven't received the other two, but you know. Oh, here it is, without the shining of the of the bag. These are beautiful colors. I like it. It's very earthly. Okay. Also, this one comes with the. Uh, instructions already printed on the package the other one has the uh, the leaf uh, separately but this one they already come in the package uh, printed okay so this is I said this is a what 53 by 42 so this one is even a little bit bigger than the other one and this one has a panel you can go by this to choose the area where you're gonna stitch. Believe me, this does help you, okay? Although I did something different, I cut it down on the three dogs on the t stitch along we're doing, but uh, 
they uh, this panel helps you to divide so you don't go crazy on overwhelm especially if you're new or you have issue with sight and your hands and one thing i'm recommending is uh, to put the lighter colors first if you have eyesight problems like me it does help because if you put the light colors first when you go and put the darker color you're gonna see the the whole better because remember these fabrics are saturated with uh, ink and here is a frame how an idea on how to frame it I like this idea this is like a booklet Here's the top part of the shard. I see that probably we have some French knots, which I'm not afraid. I haven't done a French knot, but I'm not, I don't care. We have backstitch too. That's easy to learn. When you are interested on a craft, you find a way to learn okay let's see yep just like i said two french knots but we have 45 full stitch two french knot and three back stitch here it is the french knot is for the flowers and you can see it right here in the chart they are right here all the way in the flowers although you know what i'm planning to do also put a bead on it that would be great okay and uh, like i said it has uh, 45 colors two french knot and three backstitch so let's take a look at the fabric we're gonna look at the thread later on. Ooh, hoo, hoo. this one really has some serious confetti. Let me get you up. This one has some serious, serious confetti. Take a look at this area. Okay, this area. Oh my God. This little uh, blocking on this area. The, the more you go to the right of the fabric, you find more blocking. Here is the house. The good thing about this is that you can distinguish the objects in the fabric. Here's the house, here's the sky. The sea. On this one, I think I will try to go by the panel, by the six or eight panel that he has. Over here, the symbols are very clear, as you can see. They are all clear. You got the French knots and the back stitch, right? You get more symbols over here. And then you have the numbers that are very clear in the fabric. Here it is. You get 42, 45, 37. These are gorgeous uh, colors. Especially in this area. I like these colors in this area. <laughs> and this is the C. You see, it might not be the same color as the thread. So don't go by the colors on the fabric the colors are for contrast and help you 
for the symbols okay so we got the lighthouse over here and we got the house over here with the chimney oh i would love to live in a place like that oh my god okay let's take a look at the fabric because otherwise we will never finish because i keep staring at it reminding me of my grandmother we used to take her to buy these uh, patties with uh, filling with fish, and um, and we used to see by the beach um, in the car close to the lighthouse. Here is two needles for the 14 count. Okay, so let's take a look at the colors. A lot of beautiful colors in here. This is a very colorful um, stamp cross stitch. So let me do this. Okay. Let's see if we can put it closer. Take a look at those blues for the sky and the sea. Look at how shiny it is. And this is so soft. You touch it, it's very soft. Look at those purples, more blue greens for the foliage, for the sky, the sun. And take a look in here. More green. Why when I turn around? Okay. Look at the green. Look at these blues, okay? Oh my God. I'm more green. And you're gonna have colors for the flowers. Like those purples. And we're here. I'm just trying to. Here are the reminder of the colors. They're so beautiful, and the thread is shiny, shiny, shiny. Beautiful, beautiful my goodness so you guys get to have 15 percent off and i recommend you visit the website the website is going to be also in the description box and remember to use code mickey 15 off uh well the code is mickey so you can get 15 percent off so don't forget only to put uh the 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 color the name of the of the code on there okay so i'm gonna leave you with this one all right thank you for watching hope you have a wonderful day don't forget to hug and kiss your fur baby from mickey and i okay see you in the next one remember to check the description box below for the 15 percent uh, off code and also the website of Madeir. Okay, so until the next time, much love and peace.